Even though Russia's leaders made it perfectly clear that bringing Ukraine into NATO would be crossing the brightest of red lines, the United States simply refused to accommodate Russia's deepest security concerns and instead moved relentlessly to make Ukraine a Western bulwark on Russia's border. The tragic truth is that if the West had not pursued NATO expansion into Ukraine, it is unlikely there would be a war in Ukraine today and Crimea would still be part of Ukraine. In essence, Washington played the central role in leading Ukraine down the path to destruction. History will judge the United States and its allies with abundant harshness for its remarkably foolish policy on Ukraine. Just on the narratives, the conventional wisdom in the, uh, in the media and in the West more generally and among Western leaders uh, is that Putin was interested in conquering Ukraine and absorbing, absorbing it into Russia. Uh, and he was bent on creating a greater Russia and really Ukraine was the first station on the railroad line. And what I say you have to do is you have to find evidence that he thought that was desirable, that goal was desirable. That number two, he thought that goal was feasible. And number three, that's what he had set out to do. There's evidence that that's what he was going to try to do. And my point was there's no evidence of that. 